Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about an article that was just released on Seeking Alpha regarding Golden Nugget Online Gaming, ticker symbol G-N-O-G. -G. Just to reiterate, guys, this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the content. So let's dive into it. So Golden Nugget Online story keeps getting better. So a quick summary. It says Golden Nugget Online has dip towards the lows despite a 64% revenue growth in 2020. The company plans to ramp state gambling markets from one state to the start of 2021 to six states by year end. The stock is cheap trading only 4x reasonable 2022 revenue targets of 200 million. This idea was discussed in more depth with members of my private investing community out Fox the street. And they have a link right here. I can link down in the description below for you. The online gambling market continues to explode, yet Golden Nugget Online Gaming continues to languish following the closure of their SPAC deal at the end of 2020. The company is quickly expanding from operations in one state to at least 10 states over the next few years. My investment thesis remains very bullish in the stock after the dip. 2020 was just a start. GNOC has entered 2020 with operations only in New Jersey, focused primarily on iGaming with minimal sports betting revenues. Due to COVID-19 shutdowns, gamblers shifted online, leading to booming gaming revenues. The company reported 2020 revenues of $91.1 million, up 64% over 2019. GNOC reported strong operating income last year, adjusted EBITDA, reaching an impressive $28.9 million for 32% margins. If the story was just about the iGaming market in New Jersey, this stock would be difficult to justify in 2021 at these prices. As casinos reopen uh, for in-person gambling, casino players are likely to reduce some of the elevated online uh, playing when lockdowns occurred last year in New Jersey. GNOG will be happy for New Jersey revenues to remain flat. The key is that the story isn't just about the Garden State. GNOG has already launched in Michigan this year and the company has plans to enter in four more states by the end of the year. GNOG has market access in 10 states now after recently adding agreements in states such as Illinois, New York, and Virginia. The company now forecasts launching in Virginia and West Virginia by the summer and Illinois and Pennsylvania by the fall. Other states are set to launch in future years and GNOG plans to sign more market access deals in the months ahead. So. This here shows the market access, uh, it shows the state, the partner, and it shows like what it's basically targeting. So you have Michigan and it has a partner, Casino Sports, you see Pennsylvania Casino, uh, Illinois Casino and Sports Betting, West Virginia Casino and Sports Betting, New York, Virginia, just uh, one each casino and sports. Uh, GNOG has only launched in Michigan on January 22nd, and the company has already seen monthly gross gaming revenues reach a forecast of $3.3 million in March. The total market size in Michigan is already 10x the market size of New Jersey when the state launched years ago. Let me tell you that again. The total market size in Michigan is already 10x the market size of New Jersey when that state launched years ago. That is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. The quick market ramps in new states provide solid indication GNOG won't go through an extended ramp period after launching in these new states. The company will lose money as these new states ramp up in the first year. Okay. Deep discount. The company guided to 2021 revenues of 130 million to 145 million. The guidance assumes 51% growth over 2020 revenues, but the amount likely disappointed the market considering the plan to launch five new markets this year with flat revenues in New Jersey the guidance only assumes 10 million dollars in revenues per new state suggesting the numbers really factor in limited revenues from the four markets that haven't launched yet due to the lack of promotion by the new online gaming company the stock of GNOG hasn't rallied similar to, similar to DraftKings the total iGaming market is now forecasted to reach $30 billion to $37 billion, while a major player like GNOG now trades with a market valuation of $875 million 
while DraftKings surged to $24 billion. Right now, the company focuses primarily on the smaller sports betting markets, uh, trades at 3x the price per share multiple of GNOM. While DraftKings is a bit expensive, typically a stock forecasting at 50% revenue growth, trades with a higher forward uh, PS multiple than 6x. The below chart shows the PS multiple of GNOG since analysts are covering the stock recently while DraftKings has spent the whole year trading at multiples between 12x forward sales to a peak of 20x. In addition, the only analyst revenue target has the iGaming company generating 2022 revenues of just 150 million despite going from one state in 2020 to six by the end of the year a quick assumption on 2022 revenues doubling the 2020 levels of 91.1 million dollars quickly gets revenues closer to 200 million the michigan market only could double revenues by 2022 at this revenue target the stock only trades at a 4x trades at a 4x a more realistic if not conservative revenue target the takeaway the key investor takeaway is that GNOG has become a far better deal dipping to $13.50 here despite the strong initial numbers for Michigan and the market access deals in the additional states. The market doesn't appear to fully appreciate the quickly ramping opportunity in iGaming with an overzealous focus on sports betting where GNOG is not very aggressive. Investors should use this weakness to load up on this stock before the market catches on to the growth story. One more time for you folks. Investors should use this weakness to load up on the stock before the market catches on to the growth story. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, and yes. So uh, an extremely good buy, guys, at this price point right now. And, you know, if you're in it, good chance to average down. If you're not in it, if you've been thinking about it, and you want to, you know, hop in, now's the time if you can afford it just start building out your position and you know it's kind of it, it keeps doing the same thing it falls down to this level pops up to 20 falls back down I'm sure it'll pop back up to 20 hopefully we'll stay above 20 at some point and make our way to 30 so these are some great price points guys but i'm glad they're there we got a good article that came out about them and you know they're talking numbers and they're talking the potential and it's from someone else other than investor place i love seeking alpha and I love them even more for this <laughs> because uh, this is some positive news for us. So, all right, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Make sure that you smash the thumbs up button if you found value in today's video. And if you enjoy our content, of course, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. That way, YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. Other than that, guys, we'll catch you in the next video.